Hey guys, today we got a dog Matika invoked. We're just gonna try to see like how consistent deck is. Dude. It's not really a combo deck, it's a control deck, so it's not really like combos like centric videos that we're gonna have, but we're just gonna have like just test and test hands, see what boards we can make, and just show you some lines of play you can do with it. Hope you guys enjoy. We opened up, no, we opened up our, our real good combo. We opened up Alistair and, and Dear Sir. This is pretty much your two-card combo, and it pretty much gets you everything you need. And since we want to do, like, the shit all combo, we're just going to put that back. Draw a blank. Okay, we drew a hand trap. It's perfect. Okay, so we do Alistair. Hopefully, you don't have any hand traps. You know, you search for invocation. Search for endo. Then you just do the Alistair, please. We're just gonna speed it up. You got get a homage, homage. Going to Cure Gardener. Then your invocation. Yeah, oh, you're gonna banish this, banish that. Gonna bring out your Mechaba. Invocation Gregor effect. Put it back to your deck. Add Alice to your hand. Okay. Yeah, this is when you would use your Dare Servant or you'd use any of your other Dolphin Tika stuff. Whatever you open with. All right, what a lot of people get confused with is they always send Ashen off of this first one. Like, you want to do the shit all play during your opponent's turn, you send Afghan first. Okay, so now you resolve that. You add Ecclesia. And now Afghan effect triggers. This one you would add your schedule and then you would discard it. And then you would special summon Ecclesia because you control next deck monster. Your effect only on, it's only on her summon. She gets her effect on normal special summon. So then you use her effect, you search. Search for Maximus. And a Maximus summoning condition is just you banish a fusion, Xyz, Link Monster, Synchro. So you can. Yeah. I usually banish the Amaraj just to. But you don't really need to. You can banish the App Cologne. It just depends on like whatever, whatever you want to keep. Like if you play a bigger Shadal engine, you probably want to keep that. But if not, then just banish the app because you're going to send two more. And now you'd use a uh, Maximus effect. Maximus effect. Now this is the moment where you would send your Ashen and your Construct. And then Construct would trigger. And then you add your Schism back. And this would be your Shadol monster plus your Dark monster for make the window during your opponent's turn. But just if you like run a bigger Shadol package, you probably want to send that. So you, maybe you can make like app clone have another form of negation during your opponent's turn. Or make another concert depending on whatever your hand is or whatever you're going up against. And then you would just set that. And this is we open the pan traps and cosmic, we would just set that. Or maybe we keep the cosmic in the hand just to have the negate with Mechabus so you have like you know another form of negation, and then you would just pass that. And that'll be your combo with this hand. Let's go into hand number two. It's, like, it's a really nice deck. I think it's a like people say it may be like tier 1.5, tier 2. I think it's potential to be a tier 1, just depending on, on like how people like do with the deck building against it. Like I know Maximus, people are probably gonna be like setting in like an Entus or if an invoke builds will probably be in the mirror match. They'll probably side in like a Cyber Dragon Nova to bring out free macabre and stuff. So it's pretty much like how people play around the cards. You know, I think it's a really good crime game. It has a really good first turn setup. It just I haven't played this in tournament yet, so I don't know how it's going second is, but I mean, just going first, we know it's it's pretty consistent. Cause you got a lot of ways to get to whatever your deck wants to do. Okay, now let's see your next test hand. You already opened up Nadir, Ecclesia, Alistair, Impermanent Floor. Okay, we open up our combo again. Well, these are all like three ofs, but even though we're only playing two of these guys because the other ones are in the mail. Yep, you just do the same thing. We're just gonna skip past all that. Alistair, you're gonna add it back to your hand. Invocation, shuffle back. You're gonna get out Makaba. You're gonna banish your secure gardener. And you're gonna send Amaran to your rear guard. Then you would do Nadir. You would send your Apcolon again. Apcolon basically foolish barrier schism. 
And since you already have Ecclesia, you just search the Maximus. And now I have cloning triggers. Send Skizzle. Charge summon by banishing Epcolon. Effect to send two. Send Construct and Ashen. And we we do get a search for this in end phase, I don't forget. It's just because we finished the combo. It just with the end phase you would just search out floor since we didn't have it in the last test hand. And I use construct effect, add back schism. And now since you have floor, you can just use, I mean you can special ecclesia, you don't really need to since you have a dog Mantika card that will still make a floor, it'll still give it an its negate, so if you want to keep that in your hand, just to have more hand advantage. You can, but if you want to do like one more and you're not scared of your opponent. Special summon, you search. Since we already have floor and everything, we would just search for the trap now. We would search for punishment. Have another form of disruption for your opponent. Then you would just pass with perm, punishment, and skill. And with two cards in hand, uh, dog and take a punishment is you send a. First, you target a face of monster your opponent chose, and then you send a monster with higher attack for your X deck. I mean, we play a lot of big, big monsters in X deck, so you could just send like a. Depending if they have like. Entis, this is 25. A lot of normal summons are all weaker than that, so you send that, you pop that, and you can pop something else. So you get like a two for one. Or you can send like Omega, and then during your next turn, you can use the Omega effect, add back one of your banish cards back to your deck hat, increase the grind gain. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, a lot of cool stuff you could send off of that. And then if they use like a monster effect, since you have a monster special in X deck, you can just special summon floor, and then it's not targeting a uh, monster negation. So you just they have to respond to it right there, and then you just negate something. It's like the, like the decks are really nice. I just don't know how it is going second yet. We're going to do one more test hand, then I'll show you guys the deck profile, and then we'll be out of here. It's not really going to be a long video since this isn't really a combo deck. Like, just real short, just interaction. That's pretty much what all this deck wants to do. Mm -mm. It's like I don't, I, I don't think the cards are worth the price they are now. It's like I have a I list of what I was buying them at, so I was keep I was sticking true to that. So it's like I don't really have I didn't really come out of pocket too much because I was selling a few other decks and cores just to afford these guys. So I really want to play these guys and the fur nobles, which is coming soon. I just got to get the rest of the super rares. The super rares are pretty short, I think. I feel like because I ain't pulling none out of any of the boxes I had except for like the one equip spell that was a secret or super. Let's do our final hand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and this hand we didn't really open a playable hand, but we have like disruption, so we'll just set the storm of return, set the impermanence, and we'd honestly just pass. I mean, if you want to summon out Eldritch, if you're scared of like getting like uh, OTK, you just. Actually, no, we can't do that unless they already had something. We'd have to, we'd have to be like normal summon. You'd have to be like send, but then that's just so much neg. Send that, set this, bring this back, and like attack or defense, and then it's like it's such a neg. So you really don't want to do that. So yeah, I would just end on the imperm, end on the ice dragons uh, prison. But this card is really nice because this card you target one monster opponent's graveyard, you special summon it to your, you special summon it to your field, but its effects are negated, and then you can banish one monster from both players' field with the same type. So this is like really good for like in like the Solomon Great matchup or just decks that just use all the same type like in the mirror match since it's from all all of my spellcasters. If it didn't negate the effects, this would be so nice because you you would special Ecclesia, use Ecclesia's effect in the mirror, and then you would banish like one of the other spellcasters, probably like a floor or a maximus, and it will like just swing momentum. But it negates the effect. So usually I use this when it's only a like one of I'm just testing it. But if they use like Foxy effect or a spinning. You would do this, target the same one, banish it, or no, summon it first, and then you'd banish like the Sunlight Wolf, and you swing momentum like that. And it's like, since a lot of decks are like relying on types now, or just like types like the Eldritch deck, you would bring back their Eldritch from the graveyard, hopefully they have them on the field, when they try to white, white, white Destiny it, and then you'd banish their one off the field, and then you'd banish that one, and then you get a two for one. 
just like a DD Crow and a Karmic Cut. But it's like a little bit more situational than that. But okay, guys, I'm gonna pause and show you guys the deck profile. Okay, and now for our deck profile. We play the three Alistair. Pretty much you need him. He's just bread and butter of the deck. And for your Dogma cards, I play three floors just because this card of uh, Monster Negation is only it's it's usable only when you have another Dogma Tika effect, but you can still splash some of them as quick effect during the player's turn. Now there's Monster deck, an X deck just on the field. He just won't get the negation unless he has another like name other than himself on the field. So I'd still like him at three just because he like helps push your damage. With Alistair, he's like a free link too, if you open in your hand. So it's like just nice to have. And we play two Ecclesia. This will this will be bumped up to three. I'll probably put Floor to probably two for the third one of her. Just whenever I, she comes in the mail. Uh one Maximus. I only like one Maximus because you search it when you need it. And it's like I have a feeling people are gonna play around this card by putting stuff in the X deck for it. So that's why I don't really want to play the one. I I don't think you should drop it. I think you should definitely still play the one just to have it. Just because it helps make the schism please, just helps like out cards because you got the Entis please, you have the Omega, you want to start returning stuff back to your deck, so that this helps with the grind and helps breaking down boards. Uh, the one Golden Lord. The Golden Lord's attack for like mirror match for like window, floodgate, just stuff that the deck part has a, has a hard time out. So you just play the one just to send a spell trap, just to out it. And then, you know, he's just, he's a grind game card that you can send milk down after you already searched. Some of them back, he's just a big beater and he just can't destroy like card effects, so it might save you a turn just to get back into the game next turn. And for our hand traps, we play three Ghost Ogres. We play that for the Numeron deck, and just it's really nice right now because we got Soul Day coming back. It's really good against the Rocket deck. It's really good against Hulk because you destroy it. They can't do Link Cross plays, and it just stops a whole lot of turns. Uh, we play two Ash. I would play the three, I only have the two. And we play two Ghost Bell. I, don't, I like Ghost Bell. Ghost Bell will probably be cut for like the third Ecclesia too, but it's just really nice just because it's a hand trap people don't see coming. And it helps stop Call By, DD Crow. Because DD Crow and then Call By and only Invocation, it just sucks. So you just play that just to make sure that it doesn't happen. And just in like situation, it comes up sometimes. It has a it has a implication every single matchup. People don't really see it because it doesn't see a lot of play, so I like to catch people off guard with it. Now for our spells. We have three magical meltdown. You know, just consistency, search Alistair, re-invocation. Oh yeah, and also meltdown, you know, stops fusion something, stops you from spawning. Uh, and since we played the three of we're playing three pot of desires. We're playing two Nadir Servant. This will be bumped up three definitely. Maybe I'll cut that other ghost ball for that one and cut the other one for Ecclesia and keep the same engine. This one's coming in the mail, so we just want to get the video out. But definitely this will be a three of. We play two for Ben Droplets. Hurt and Droplets nice. We didn't get to see in the combo, so but it's just an extra disruption. Because you like uh, especially for the Zexel, because you you have priority during your turn, so just like another card help out it. And then you just and since you play like a whole bunch of traps in this build. Depending on the decks, they can't respond with like a geese or trying to pop it to make sure it resolves and stuff. Then we play two cosmics. Just back row move. You know, mine is still at three. And just it helps because right now we're in like a back row cent central format, except for like rock and, and rock deck. But it still outs like the Buster Dragon. Which you want to have an out for. One super probably. We can play that one just because we don't play too many like extra fusion targets like Starving Venom, since so X deck is so tight. It's just like if they veil your Alistair, you have this in hand, you sack them, you chain super probably take their monster if you're going second, and then your Alistair resolves because it misses the target. And just because it, it can help break boards, especially in the mirror match, depending on how you like make your X deck, like if you want to play the, the Milk Elysium, if they have Makaba and another fusion monster like a window, you, you paid into it, you chain super probably, take them both, and make Elysium. But we don't play that since we don't have space for it. But just like next implication that you could play. Uh, and final final spell is the one, one terraform. Just to search the meltdown. Add more consistency. We don't play Mystic Mountain enough, and we don't have a side deck yet, because I haven't took this to kind of play yet. For our traps, we have three impermanence. Just a really good hand trap right now. Can't get called by. People really can't play around this card. And we play two dog with punishments. I like it at two just because we play the pot, so you know, want to try to keep one in deck and it's always searchable. And just like a really, in, like, even if you don't like banish it, it's always, it's also a good card just to draw. 
since you don't really need anything to really use it, you just send from Exodus, so it's like a free pop. And then if you like brick, you use that, you pop, uh, you send Ashen, you pop something at the end of phase, at the end of the turn, you search Ecclesia, and it like helps you get back in the game the next turn. And you play the one Schism, that's just to make Wendy during your opponent's turn. Or if you play like a bigger Shadal count, you can make App Cologne during your opponent's turn if you want to send Wendy Construct. That's to be a card open this, you send Wendy Construct and then you make App Cologne during your opponent's turn. Like that's be like for Moss Negation. You know, Wendy's like nine times out of ten, it's infinitely better, but just because you have those little niche interacts that you can do stuff like that. Because with Construct's light, Wendy's dark, make App Cologne, negate, negate a card. Especially with that top decking, maybe that might be the better play. Be able to grind them out. And then we play the one Ice Dragon's Prison. Again, just a really nice card. I really want to bump this card up. I don't know what to cut out, but I really like this card. Especially like the meta that we're, hand that we're heading into. All right, that's it for the main deck. That should be 40 cards, I want to say. And now for our fusions, we play two Makaba. You know, it's standard. If you want to play like the VFD package, since they're all light, I would play the third Makaba, and you can play the VFD if you want to play that route. But we play the one all got it. I don't I don't play that no more. I played that in pure invoke, and it was really nice as a going first play. Invoke all got is on summon, you pop something, and when you punish by someone's monster, you could you could pop it. The one perfect shield just to OTK and just make Alm Rods more useful. Now for the rest of our fusions, we have the one Ash Dragon. You know, you use Punishment, you use Maximus, you send it, you search at the end phase. It's tough to get a search, get consistency, add a card, and change it. The one Entis, you can also send this card, and it just pops a card. The Annoy Tillis, the Construct, and the Wunda. We do this play, just this is the engine you need for the Wunda. Remember in the combo, you send, you can send uh, Aquilon first, add Schism, send Schism, then use Maximus, send the, uh, Send this and this, add back schism, search the end phase, and then you'd make Wendy during your opponent's turn. And then for your only synchro you play, you play the one Omega. I'm I'm definitely gonna side like the gamma package, because the gamma's really nice right now. I really want to main deck it, but I don't really know what space to cut out for it. Just because it's hard making this thing with the gamma, if you're able to like gamma something, go in second and make this, it's really nice because this card can help uh Help return vanish cards back to your graveyard so you also always have like infinite infinite resources when it's in the graveyard you can return like this and like a macabre if you ran through both of them back to your extra deck and then just have another play sorry about that but that's it for fusion synchros now we're just going to try to make monsters we played the one secure garner we played the one almiraj both you need both of these for alistair gives you a free macabre and it gives you a free fire graveyard for the trio and you need us to go into that, obviously. Uh, you play the one Invoker of Madness. Remember, he is not one for turn. Uh, Alistair, plus any like uh, any monster that's left on the field, makes this guy, and you can like, go for an OTK most of the time. You know, how many cards are in your hand? Since that deck is Spellcasters, you play the one Selene. Because she can just revive. Because you have a lot of spells in this deck, and, you're, and it counts your opponent's uh, spells too. All you need is like three. Move three, add back, especially on any spellcaster in your graveyard or hand to its link points, I think, in defense. So you can remake Alice, you can remake any of your Dragma stuff, and it like its effects are, are not negated. So, but just if you bring like a Khaleesi with this and use this effect to search, you won't, you'll be locked out of extra like, the rest of the turn. But if you don't uh, search off air or just bring back Alice or anything else, you would just come and ask Kill Talker, ask Kill Target this. You don't have too many targets because usually you only, if you don't go for Pikachu, Usually this will be banished, so you only have this and this, so you have two pops. Because this is fire, this is light, and this will be a 53, and all you do is put 27, 27 more on the field. Which isn't that hard in this deck. And that's it for our extra deck. Again, we have no side deck yet. Cards like this is a competitive play, but I'll definitely be playing three gammas, the driver, and the rest of the side deck I don't know yet. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.